Hi, Nikki Cottom here, and today I wanted to talk about the top six items that you'll want when you purchase a doTERRA kit or you're using your essential oils. And um, this, this is something that I found helpful when I first enrolled, uh, things that helped me to better utilize my essential oils. Because when I started, I bought a kit at tax return time and bought the, the family, the home essentials kit, I think that's what it's called. Um, so basically the top 10 essential oils in the 15 mil bottles. And I bought them and then after I bought them I realized there were some other things I needed. So I'm going to tell you what you need so that when you really want to get gung-ho with your oils or you want to start experimenting with stuff, you have the tools you need. Okay, so the very first um, product that I wanted to talk about that you will want to use your essential oils the, in the most effective ways is fractionated coconut oil. Now you can get this on top of your doTERRA order. So when you're placing your order for a kit or your regular orders, you are going to um, purchase uh, fractionated coconut oil. I think it's about $13, $12.50 or something for 3.8 ounces. Now this fractionated coconut oil is awesome because it's a carrier oil, meaning if you're using an oil, an oil that's hot or you're not sure it's hot, uh, you're going to want to have some of this on hand. What makes it different from regular coconut oil is fractionated coconut oil is a permanent liquid. It has the oil, the fatty oil stripped out of it, so it's not <clears throat> super greasy and it also does not stain carpets, clothes, furniture, bed sheets, that type of thing, okay? Fractionated coconut oil is an awesome tool to have on hand to help you use your essential oils. Having it on hand makes it a lot easier for you to have confidence to use your hotter oils because you have a carrier oil to dilute it in case it is hot on the skin. You can put it on with the oil on your skin or you can use it if you realize the oil is hot in your skin, you can actually put it on your skin on top of the oil and it will cool it down. Okay, fractionated coconut oil is on. A lot of DIY projects require a carrier oil to use. Uh, when I make my own hand soaps, I use a tablespoon of fractionated coconut oil, two tablespoons of Castile soap, 10 drops of whatever essential oil I want, uh, on guard is my favorite, and then fill the foaming uh, hand, hand soap bottle to the neck, shake it up, and I'm good to go. Okay, super awesome to have on hand. That's the first one. Uh, the second one I wanted to talk about is the veggie caps, doTERRA veggie caps. Okay, they're only like $4, 450 for 160 of them. Okay, these are going to help you take your essential oils internally. Okay, so every essential oil except for, uh, let me get this right, deep blue and breathe in the main kit, you can ingest, you can take internally, okay? <clears throat> so um, the hotter oils like On Guard and Oregano, you might be a little bit <clears throat> hesitant to put those in your water because they are a little bit hot. On Guard has cinnamon and clove, which are a little bit hot. Oregano is a very, very hot oil itself. So when you take essential oils internally, what you're going to want to do is um, get some of these veggie caps. They're like just pill capsules, but you can take, take the lid off. So it's in two pieces now. And then you can just put two drops of whatever essential oil you want in there. I put multiples, I'll put like two drops of On Guard, two drops of oregano, two drops of frankincense, and whatever oils I want, and put the lid on. It's okay if you do not fill it up to the top. If there's only like one drop in there, take it like a pill. That's fine. Okay, Frac uh, these uh, veggie caps are amazing to have for that reason. In fact, um, when I wanted to take essential oils internally, I got I actually got um, an infection right after I bought essential oils, and so I had the essential oils I needed. I just needed some way to get oregano in my system. Because um, I wanted to use oregano, it's powerful essential oil for the immune system. I wanted to get oregano in my system, and the best way to do that um, is to ingest it. So I highly recommend you have those on hand because you're going to want them 
uh, when you're interested in taking essential oils internally, okay? Essential oils internally are really the best way to affect your gut and your immune system. So anything involving your gut or your immune system, like if you want to do the Digest Zen internally, um, they, they, doTERRA does sell Digest Zen soft gels that are already, you know, in soft gel form, so you can take them like that. But if you don't have it, you just have the basic kit, you're going to want to have some veggie caps on hand. I love the veggie caps. I go through them um, probably a one bottle of these every month or every other month to two months, uh, two or three months. So two months, um, I go through well, an entire bottle. So I buy them all the time, every few months, and I love them. Okay, the next product I wanted to talk about is um, pipettes. doTERRA does sell these pipettes. Um, they sell, I think it's a pack of 50 of them uh, for like 250. So each of those three things, the, the uh, fractionated coconut oil, the veggie caps, and the pipettes, you can get with your order on the doTERRA website. I like these pipettes because if you, um, for some of you who want to take the essential oils internally, but have a tendency to spill the essential oil over the side of the veggie cap and not quite get it in and then you have to taste it anyway because you've got it on the side pipettes are super helpful for that so you just take a few drops um i think one pipette dry, drop is like the equivalent of like one third a regular drop so you want to take that into consideration so if you want to put just two drops in there you might put six pipette drops which would be about equivalent to um to uh, regular drops, if that makes sense. Okay, so pipettes are awesome to have on hand. You can use them to just so you don't have to get essential oils on your hand, especially if the essential oil is hot or something like that. So keep that in mind. Okay, the next um, couple items I wanted to talk about um, is a diffuser. Okay, so having a diffuser is amazing. Okay, when I got my oils. I didn't have any of this. I didn't have fractionated coconut oil. I thought I could get by with regular coconut oil. And once I finally got fractionated, I was like, where have you been all my life? Stop staining the furniture, my clothes, the carpets, you know, like I'd rub essential oils on my husband's back and then he'd put on a shirt and there would be oil spots. So then I got fractionated coconut oil and I love it because it does not stain like regular coconut oil. Okay. So I was grateful for that. The veggie caps, I had to emergency so get some, um, and they weren't this good of quality. Um, so having them on hand is awesome. Also having a diffuser is amazing as well because I think it took us about six months after we bought essential oils to finally get a diffuser. And once we got a diffuser, it, it once again, it was like, why did it take me so long to get this? Uh, it's been amazing at helping us feel fresher in our environment having that clean, you know, lemon going or citrus oil going that is so cleaning and can pure, you help clean surfaces and things like that, kitchen surfaces and other things. And with all the germs we have going on in our home, we have a diffuser going all the time. At, in the daytime, we have a diffuser going for our whole house. And at nighttime, we put a diffuse, we have diffusers in all the bedrooms and we are diffusing day and night because we want to stay healthy and we want to stay emotionally grounded. We want to stay mentally focused. We want the best, okay? So having a diffuser is amazing. Don't put it off. Um, this particular diffuser, I think is about $49. Um, for us, each one of these petal diffusers have lasted us up two to three years, so it's a pretty good investment. You go to the, go get a $20 one from Walmart or whatever, it's not going to output very much. It's not, it's going to be for a really small space and, and it's not going to last very long. I think the longest one of those has lasted for us has been about six months and it hasn't outputted very much. So, um, invest in something good. Okay. Okay, so we covered the top four, one, two, pipettes, three, and then the, a diffuser, four. And now I want to talk about a couple products that you cannot get as part of your doTERRA order. You actually have to purchase these from a secondary source. So um, these particular items I purchased from, um, you can purchase at aromatools.com. And there are other essential oil uh, supported websites that sell these as well. But aromatools.com happens to be my personal go-to. Uh, so these two items are the Modern Essentials book. Okay, this is like gonna be 
everything you want to know about essential oils. Um, it teaches you like the basics. This is where I started and now I would consider myself pretty well versed in essential oils and this is where I started. Okay, I didn't start with websites. I didn't start with anything else. I started with this book, Modern Essentials. Okay, so Modern Essentials is really awesome. It's got um, how to apply essential oils topically and aromatically internally. How can I use essential oils for everyday use? What essential oils are there for specific conditions? What are essential oils? All of that. Okay, so the first section of the book talks about the history of essential oils and how they were used. Um, talks about different systems of the body and how essential oils affect those. Um, then it talks specifically about each individual oil. So for example, if you are thinking, I've heard lavender is really, really good for a lot of things, but how can I use it? Or can I refresh on what the benefits are? Okay, so here are a list of tons of benefits that lavender um, can be good for. And then it also gives you a few different ways that you can use it. So that's really awesome. It does that for all the essential oils and then the blends. So it highlights the blends as well. Um, here you can see, I like this version, the updated version, because the blends actually have the name um, that we're all familiar with, like Cheer um, Essential Oil Blend. Okay, and so the different uses for each of those. And then the supplements as well. And then there's a, a and, and all the different products like the spas, spa products, and the um, facial systems, and all of that, all the benefits with all the ingredients there. And then in this system, the, or this part of the book, it's actually the most referred, um, referred to section because you can look up alphabetically um, different ailments. So in alphabetical order, you can look those up and see what, um, what essential oils are good for different things. Isn't that cool? Okay, and it will tell you how to use them too. So um, yeah. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so this book is very, very important to have if you want to become well-versed in essential oils and have something to back yourself up, um, to, to get support yourself in moving forward and experimenting with essential oils and getting to know them. This is fabulous. Okay, and I wanted to talk about emotion and essential oils. This is probably my favorite reference for essential oils. And um, I do believe that a lot of our health issues are either emotional or psychological at the root. Now that seems kind of, for some people can seem a little crazy because they're like, no, I just went outside and I got a cold and that was it, okay? Well, um, trace that back, okay? When did your symptoms start? Um, you probably had a bad day, you were eating yourself up as far as like self-sabotage, you were thinking I'm not good enough, I'm, I'm a horrible person, I'm not doing enough, um, I'm a, such a failure. If you're thinking those thoughts, it's really going to drag your you down. It's going to cause more stress and stress yields um, the body's immune system to drop, like drop in its function. And then we do pick up those things up. But I do believe that a lot of things are emotional or psychological at the root. And so this book is phenomenal. Okay, so one thing I love about this, and I'm going to go to one of my favorite blends, which is Breathe, okay? And I'm going to talk about Breathe because Breathe is, is um, something we think of as far as being a, a respiratory blend to help with um, during cold and flu season and for environmental threats and um, to help with the respiratory system to support that, okay? But emotionally, here is the emotional benefit of Breathe. So Breathe in this book, it gives the, the just a write-up of the emotional uh, things that Breathe can help support. So Breathe addresses the inability to let go of grief and pain. Individuals in need of Breathe struggle to breathe and literally feel suffocated by sadness. The, the lungs and the air passages become constricted, preventing air and emotional and um, preventing air and emotion from releasing. The the root condition is feeling un. Loved. Individuals grieve the love they never had. They often shut down due to fear, not knowing whether the love they need will be there. They distrust whether it is safe to be open and take life in. Breathe 
encourages individuals to release grief and sadness and to receive genuine love and healing. Okay. How cool is that? Okay. So, um, using breathe can help with those emotional stuff. And, um, so if we, if we have a, something we're dealing with, um, we can look up in this book. It actually has a quick reference guide as well that tells us, okay, if, if I'm feeling this way, here are essential oils that might be good for me. Okay, so for example, um, it, it lists the essential oils um, individually and what emotions they help with. And then it also has one in a chart in here. Let me find it. Or a list back here. <clears throat> So if you're feeling one of these emotions, you can try those oils. So for example, here's one that um, I want to, that I'm just going to highlight victim mentality. Okay. So if we're feeling like the victim, if we're like, things aren't going our way. It's not my fault. Why am I always the target of bad luck? Why is, why is this happening to me? Um, somebody else's fault. Why am I suffering for it? That type of thing. Or I don't deserve this. Why me? Um, victim mentality. Uh, one of the the first essential oils are clove, ginger, spikenard, jasmine, on guard, or copaiba. Okay, so that gives you a list, and then you can go to that particular one. Let's say clove. Let's say that's the top one. So I'm going to clove. It's the oil of boundaries. Okay, and it and it helps people support and uh, support people in helping let go of victim mentality. Um, for people who feel overly influenced by other people and outside circumstances and feel powerless to change their situation, clove. Okay, so if that fits, bam, use clove. Okay, so I love that. Another thing I love about it is I can go to, for example, let's say I want support with my immune system. Okay, so the first essential oil mentioned for helping support the immune system in here is on guard. Okay, so let's say I'm thinking, okay, on guard. Is there something emotionally that's, that's you know, working against my immune system that on guard can help with? Okay, so I'm going to look up on guard in here. Okay, and on guard is the oil of protection, feeling protected. Okay, so on guard, the combination is generally used to shield individuals from bacteria, mold, and viruses. The blend's protective properties, however, extend beyond the physical level by aiding individuals in warding off energetic parasites, domineering personalities, and other negative influences. It strengthens one immune, one's immune system, which governs the ability to defend against attacks from physical pathogens and negative energies. So on guard is incredibly helpful for strengthening the inner self along with the inner resolve to stand up for oneself and live in integrity. This blend is, is especially indicated for personalities who have a weakened boundary due to some kind of perpetual violation to their personal space. On guard gives individuals the courage to say no and to resolve to maintain clear boundaries. It cuts away unhealthy connections such as codependency, parasitic relationships, viruses found in negative group thought. On guard greatly assists individuals in learning to stand up for themselves and to live in integrity with their true self. Okay, on guard is by far one of my top of favorite essential oils and I know that I need it for emotional and physical reasons. So in conclusion, these top six products you're going to want to consider when purchasing a kit or really diving into your essential oil usage. Once again, Fractionated coconut oil solution for DIY projects for um, for spreading the essential oil out further, not staining things. Um, veggie caps for taking essential oils internally. Pipettes to make it easier to put into the veggie caps, and also if there are times when you're making DIY projects or you don't want to touch the oil with your hands, you can use those as well. Then also diffuser. Don't forget about a diffuser. Diffuser is powerful. So topical application, internal application, aromatic application. Okay, you're going to want those. And then um, additional supports. These two are going to be awesome at helping you 
on your journey. And once again, this is the 10th edition of the Modern Essentials book. And this, I believe, is the seventh edition of the Emotions and Essential Oils book. Um, they're both greener than their the last versions. So look for the greener versions. And um, anyways, hope that helps you in your, your process of diving into essential oils for you and your family's wellness. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful week.